Cornelia, I have a report from our scouts. The Imperial army that departed from Gerig Mach en route to the capital now appears to be marching here. What did you just say? The speed of the army's movement quickens. They will be here to invade within days. I just sent some of my troops to support the capital. It is likely to be a fierce fight. How could this be? I have not heard a thing about... Oh, I understand now. I am the target. You? Are you sure they do not mean to take Aryan Road for strategic reasons? It would appear so from the outside. However, the circumstances are not that simple. And will you calm yourself? It will not be a fierce fight whatsoever. The sweet children I have prepared will protect Aryan Road well. Cornelia. Aryan Road is a fortress city that was built about 400 years ago. Originally a base on the front lines of the battle against the kingdom, it was built using imperial money and technology. However, the head of House Row secretly planned to betray the Empire. As the fortress neared completion, it was rebuilt as a base to defend against the Empire. When the fortress was completed, House Row declared its vassalage to the kingdom. Since then, Aryan Road has never fallen. Not once. The beautiful white walls that protect it against its enemies have earned it the nickname, the Silver Maiden. In the end, that is all it is to the Empire. The Silver Maiden stands as a bitter memory. We will now be destroying that memory. The past is the past. Now is now. A fortress that has never fallen. <laughs> I can't wait to make it fall. How savage of you. And yet, I must say I agree with the sentiments. Let us take the sturdy Aryan road and continue our march against the kingdom. An invincible fortress? Sounds perfect. Unfortunately, it will soon no longer be invincible. The Silver Maiden's iron skin is about to be damaged. It's sad, really. Is it silver or iron? Use your language with clarity, please. Really, Lin, there must be a better way to say that. Since we are attacking a heavily guarded place, we must take extra care to prevent allies from getting injured. Thank you, everyone. I'm counting on all of you. Now, let's resume our advance. This battle is for the future of Fodlan. In order to secure a successful invasion of Ferdiad, Edelgard launches a raid on the fortress city of Aryan Road, which occupies a key position on the border. At Aryan Road, a mage serving House Blathed, named Cornelia, and the head of House Fraldarius, Rodri, strengthen their defenses. close in on Aryan Road. But it's not like I'm just going to stand by and watch. I will slaughter them all. So this is the Silver Maiden. Seeing it with my own eyes, I finally understand its strength. Especially the fact that its strength is distributed across its frontal defenses. We'll attack the front and keep our enemy occupied while the others enter by the East Gate. Tightness, my lovely dolls. Seek out the enemy and destroy them.
And if the chance presents itself, I wouldn't mind being rid of those unsightly kingdom forces, too. Are those Cornelius' magical weapons? Impressive. For the Empire! At your service. At your service. What's my strategy? For the Empire. I'll cut a bloody path. I will prevail. What's the plan? Ready when you are. More fighting. Let's make this quick. <laughs> My heart burns with pride. Until we meet again. I am the King's Shield, devoted to protecting the kingdom, as well as the King's Lance, who kills his foes. In the name of House Fraldarius, I will defeat you all. So this is it. Your Majesty, please bring us victory. I'll cut through. So, my foolish son. You took it upon yourself to leave your family behind. I'm not coming back. I won't serve the boar. It's a father's duty to settle his child's failures. Felix, you must die here and now. So this is it. Your Majesty, please bring us victory. I'd let you go. At your service. Ah, huh, thanks. What's my strategy? So. For 
destroy the Empire. Let's make this quick. What's my strategy? I do this for all of us. I will prevail. What's the plan? Ready when you are. More fighting. You're a big help. Maybe it's better this way. Traps awaiting us inside the castle. What a nuisance. But with such large-scale traps, there must be some sort of mechanism to control them. Is this my last stand? Greatness. The situation is dire. You saved me.
ready when you are. I owe you one. I finally made it my own. my strategy. Be more useful now. Not bad at all. What's the plan? More fighting. Only thorns left on this rose. Just like that. You're a big help.
I will prevail. What's the plan? The traps are still functional. There must be more of these devices. Ready when you are. More fighting. Let's make this quick. No time to slow down. For the Empire. your service. Well done. I'll cut through. I do this for all of us. Oh! I'll be home again soon. What's my strategy? I'll cut a bloody path. No time for mercy. what matters. I'm growing, but at what cost? Let's finish this! 
I was just stronger. Return the fate.
my ambitions are within reach. So reliable. Yeah. You make me feel safe.
This is my stage now. Power for the greater good. Be careful. The traps have been disabled. It should be safe to advance now. Our goal is Cornelia. Let's make this an all-out assault. Step closer to victory. I needed that. I do this for all of us. Yes, I've got you. I'll be home again soon. You can do it. Charming guest. Let me take care of you. my strategy. 
Aw, oh, such a shame. I always thought we'd end up being good friends. But here you are as my enemy. The only thing left to do is kill you, right? Don't think so. Yeah. Predictable. <laughs> For the Empire. What a charming guest. Let me take care of you. You have covered. Never hesitate. Oh. Oh. So this is as far as I could get. Aha, uh -huh. all is in accordance with this carefully crafted script of ours. <laughs> what a masterpiece. What a delightful dance. Victory is ours. Arian Road has fallen. Another army will take control of Arian Road. As for us, we will take all of the military force we can muster and advance to the kingdom capital of Ferdiad. It won't be long before all of Fodlin is unified. Everyone, this is our last push. Our goal is within reach. My thank you so much! What turn of events has brought you so suddenly to Garrig Mach, uncle? Well, my business in the old Alliance territory had roughly finished. I wanted to see the face of my niece, who so bravely took Aryan Road. I have heard that it was done with truly magnificent tact, and that you even deceived some of your allies. I'm happy to have earned your praise. However, to say that I deceived my allies is a bit misleading. I despise leaks of information, and there may have been a church rat hiding amongst our ranks. Ah, I see. However, there are some unfortunate consequences. Cornelia surely planned to betray them, but she has been struck down. Truly wasteful meddling. Unless... was it your intention to kill her? Indeed, we came only to kill our enemies. She used a terrible magic weapon. Dolls that she could move and fight with. Did you know about them? Well now, if that were the case, would it not have been better to keep her as an ally? If you are only capable of such imprudence, this dark cloud might hang over the Empire's future as well. Thank you for your concern. However, I will sweep aside any darkness that comes our way. I will be praying, praying that the Empire will not become another Aryan Road. Another Aryan Road? Just what do you mean? <laughs> I must take my leave now. Farewell. Lady Edelgard, there you are. We just received some truly shocking news. It is said that pillars of light have rained from the heavens and disintegrated Aryan Road. Disintegrated? It was likely some type of magic. Perhaps a forbidden art. Hubert, give me the full report! Uh, my apologies. I, of all people, should be able to control my discomposure. The Pillars of Light descended and exploded resulting in the complete destruction of the main building and the north wall. It is believed that all key people within House Row, including its leader, were killed. Of the Imperial officers and men we kept at Aryan Road, about a third are unaccounted for. It can't be true. So, this is my uncle's trump card. 
In exchange for striking down Cornelia, he has destroyed Arian Road. Perhaps we acted too soon in our disposal of Cornelia. No. If we'll be fighting them soon, there's no disadvantage to weakening their forces. It's also extremely valuable that we've forced them to show their hand. Hubert, the investigation you made into the Legend of Aelo, the Valley of Torment, this is likely what took place back then as well. Yes. The probability is high. Yes, it is quite likely. North of Garig Mach, there is a valley where the earth is always aflame. Once javelins of light fell from the sky there. He pierced the earth and set the forest to blaze, creating a land of torment. We believed it may have been the work of the goddess. But it was actually an attack by those who slither in the dark. That sums up all that we know. By gifting us that knowledge, those who died at Arian Road will not have died in vain. Indeed. It would be good to control the flow of this information. True. We'll conceal this from everyone as best we can. I trust you, my teacher. I'm sure everyone has heard about what transpired at Aryan Road. The Church has displayed their cowardice by indiscriminately using forbidden practices to kill the residents there. Their victims also include members of House Rome, the Imperial Army, and many, many more. According to our investigation, the forbidden attack that destroyed Aryan Road cannot be used again so quickly. Even so, we cannot delay our efforts. We must put a stop to all of this by the end of next month. The leader of one of the Imperial factions has already initiated an attack on the Fraldarius territory lost by Rodrigue. Soon all obstacles blocking our path to Ferdiad will have vanished. A cornered animal is at its most deadly. We must move quickly. Next, we march through the Tailteen Plains. After that, we destroy Ferdiad. At that time, complete Imperial control over Fodlin will finally be a reality. <sighs> oh, I'm shaking with excitement! Bring on the battle! I understand that a confrontation is inevitable. Still, I wonder if there's some path we could take that would cause less suffering. This is the only path for the goal we are reaching for. And so we must keep walking on it. We are walking down the path to a better tomorrow. A cornered church? Hmm. Well, count me out from any forbidden sorcery that can destroy whole cities. If only there was an easier way to get more information on crests and relics. You are as negative as usual, Linhart. We have but one order. To emerge victorious. We're going to win this. We really are. After all, if we lose, everything will be terrible forever. Oh, no way. We can't let that happen. There's a lot to worry about, but I'm sure it will all work out. We'll win no matter what! Part 2. Crimson Flower. Great Tree Moon. Field of Revenge. With the capture of Aryan Road complete, the Imperial Army moves to invade the Kingdom capital. They plot to send troops toward now vulnerable House Fraldarius territory and plan to attack Ferdiad from two sides. So, Aryan Road has fallen. 
Rodrigue, I swear that I will not allow your death to be in vain. The scouts have just now returned. Seems the Imperial Army is marching toward the Kingdom capital. Are you certain about this, Dimitri? As King, do you think it wise to intercept them yourself? No need to worry yourself. Even if I am defeated, the Blathed Bloodline will live on. And the Kingdom's territory has never been rich in resources. If the castle falls under siege, our loss is inevitable. I will deploy my army onto the plains and wait for the enemy. Please, position your forces so that they can flank the Imperial Army. Yes. Given the present situation, making the plains our battlefield is a logical choice. I have no objection. However... There is only one person I am after. I have no interest in any other prey. I will take you at your word. Erasing the other child's existence is my task, and mine alone. I will get you back, Mother. I promise. What do you think, Lady Edelgard? Will they shut themselves inside of Ferdiad? They will try to intercept us. Of course, Ferdiad will not fall so easily. Even so, if we were to cut off their supply line with a large army, it would eventually fall. It makes much more sense for them to wager everything on a victory at the Tail Team Plains. The same plains where the so-called Divine Saros defeated Nemesis, the King of Liberation, in a comeback victory over a thousand years ago. And about 400 years ago, the hero Lu created the kingdom by defeating the Emperor of the time on those very plains. Their goal must be to recreate that scene. Yes, I suppose so. Although the Imperial Army is powerful, if we were to compare the strength of our best to the best of the Knights of Seros, we would likely come up short. The Kingdom's army and House Blathed are also renowned for their unmatched persistence. On the battlefield, it can be assumed that their one and only goal will be to strike you down. Are you telling me to stay off the battlefield? Naturally. You are their aim, Your Majesty. You must know it only makes sense to keep you out of their reach. And you must know that, at a time like this, I absolutely cannot withdraw. <sighs> of course I know that. That is why I will refrain from asking you again to stay away from the battlefield. The Immaculate One, descendants of the Ten Elites, and other extremely fearsome foes await us. But with the help of our friends, we have a chance of defeating them. We're the only ones who can. Within our group, I am included among those with the kind of strength we need to win. I absolutely will not remove myself from the front lines. Professor, you have that same strength as well, whether or not you realize it yet. As Emperor, I must not die in this war, and it would be unacceptable to lose you as well. Until the very end, we'll survive this trial together. Understood?